not good news for the countertop. <laughs> uh, no. It was trial and error, but... Yeah, so this massive crack has appeared now. Yeah. All the way down. Which is annoying because it isn't even where the middle of the two boards were. I don't know why, because it's it was a really strong mix and it had them fibres in as well. Yeah. But and maybe the bottom has moved or something, but... So it's annoying because actually I sanded this down and the sides. And we love it. And it's as well, pretty smooth, we? isn't it? Yeah. It's like to the touch, it's really smooth. But the problem is that even though I put a sealer on, mm -hmm. it's just not, it's worked, but it's going to have to be a top that you have to scrub because yeah. even though it's smooth, it's, quite, it's still, it's still like rough, if that makes it's sense. It's still slightly indented and porous. Which is so sad because I really loved actually the end this being like this, because this side we were going to cover to match the worktops, but all these little bits, that little little extra touch that I really loved actually, but it's yeah, it's tough, isn't it? So it's annoying, really. I think, I just don't think you can do a, count, <coughs> a concrete countertop as a cheap option. No. I don't, you know, I thought, we thought we could get it, oh, we could get it big and cheap and then, you know, that sorted, but I think, the only way to really use it is to either do it and cover it in a resin, yeah. which is obviously a resin for something like this is, you know, well, three, three, four hundred it, yeah. euros, um, or polish it like a proper polished countertop. Which, which we wanted to do, but the actual, what's it, like the actual sander? Yeah, you've got to have like a specialist so sander and then obviously the dust <laughs> and everything like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's so it just, just hasn't worked out, which is annoying. C'est la vie. Yeah, so we bought some more countertop the same as this, which we're going to put on for now, and that yeah. just gives us... They're all the same then, and it's easy to clean. And then and we're long, still going to be on the lookout for Yeah, long term, for... we'll look out what to do, so... Yeah, so I'm going to take this off today. Hang on, how are we actually going to lift this off? Because it is... Well, really I'm hoping because it's cracked here, this is one piece. And then I'll just with a hammer try break this again. You know, if we have to smash it up into loads of pieces and I'd whatever. Not. <laughs> just but just try this. getting a sort of three pieces and then right, we'll just yeah. lift it and move it out. And just put them in the garden and use it as part of a path or something like that. Well, yeah, it's, it's still good to use, isn't it? So. And then the base is just wood and that'll just lift off and we can just put the new one on top for now. Mm hmm. So, especially we're doing cooking videos as well. You want it to be easy to clean and wipe and you don't yeah. have to be scrubbing it. So, hasn't well, worked, unfortunately, which is a shame, but there we oh go. Oh, yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? So, Right, so I'm going to start breaking this up. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Let me just have a quick go at trying to... Go on, muscles. Oh. That seems really easy, like it's lifting off quite easy. See, that is a thick bit of concrete. It's not like it was... Yeah, that bit's still quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you can lift that, though. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I'd rather keep it as one piece, and we can use it in the garden. Mm -hmm. You know. It was strong. Nothing. Are you actually hitting that hard? Okay. Are you actually hitting that hard, like really hard? Not really, but it's a heavy old hammer. Oh, there is a crack. I know. I'm hoping. There we go. The only problem with this middle bit is that's where all the screws and stuff are, so it might be a bit... Um, oh, yeah. That, that bit might be stuck. 
Martin Oldby. Oh. oh. Hmm. Well, wow. and we can still use the OSB again. It was a lot easier to take out <laughs> than put in, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, so if you give me a hand taking these out, then I'll take the board off and then we'll just put the new one on. Okay. First time using the new drill. <laughs> Christmas present to oneself. The poor, the poor Bosch died. Yeah, unfortunately, I know he's going to get my hint about buying me a real <laughs> you got I a dressing gown. <laughs> How is yeah, it? Is it all right? I had something to say to start doing this in a dressing gown. <laughs> <laughs> you find that funny, Jack? Yes. Well, that was a lot easier to come apart than I thought, actually. <laughs> And you carried all three pieces of concrete out alone. I held the door. Big strong boy, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, so then, then white blobs underneath. We'll just uh, just because the it was a slight a leathy. Uneven, just where I saw it wasn't, I just put a little, you know, just Well, it's because some of the bricks that we, we bought from someone else, wasn't it? They were slightly. Different sizes. Just ever so slightly. It's because they're. Even the brick, because they're handmade bricks. Yeah. They're not consistent, you know. Even so. with the laser leveller. So. 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 And this one, one cup. Yeah, exactly. Right, let's what? get this. Oh, and let's get the new one. Yeah. In place, shall we? Do you love it, Jack? Oh. Yeah, luckily, you don't even have to cut it. <laughs> yeah. oh, I knew you wouldn't be two seconds about taking that off. That's the most satisfying bit <laughs> of anything, is taking the plastic off. I know, darling, but That's you do it. satisfying bit of getting a new phone is taking the plastic no, off. No, see, I like to have it on for as long as possible. And then Dan will rip it off without me knowing. I'm going to start this one, then. It's going to be a Lady in the Tramp moment. Oh. I love it. It's not quite as rustic in this one, is it? But Why is it this one looks extra shiny compared to the other two? Like... Probably just because it's directly on the spots. Yeah. But yeah, it's nice and clean. Yeah, so easy to wipe. It'll do for now and then when we decide what we're doing. Hello, everyone. So um, now that the kitchen is almost there it's almost complete um we know lots and lots of you have been asking um what else are we doing in the house and what's going on and and whatnot I can tell you it is far from finished <laughs> mm. um we've been moving loads and loads of stuff around at the moment so it is it is a bit of a nightmare chaos kids toys and obviously we've just had Christmas as well so it's um yeah we're moving stuff around at the moment so shall we show them <laughs> all right then let's go so we're leading from the kitchen um into our new dining room which was formerly the front room so this is our dining room which i i'm li i'm so in love with at the moment um we've been playing around with of you know bits of furniture and stuff that we want here um and we want like a nice, I don't know, like a nice dresser or something. Yeah, you something know, to like go a there. long. I quite like the mirror still being there though, you know, and something either side maybe. But yeah, who knows? And um, I'd like a nice big picture on this wall. So our TV's there, uh, just dangling <laughs> in midair because this was our front room, so we just haven't quite moved everything yet. Yeah, we need to. What is it? Run the the satellite cable. All yeah, the over, way over. Around to the other end of the house. So, yeah, yeah. That's... so yeah, this is the dining room, which is, I love it. It's amazing. Um, so we've kind of, so this bit is kind of like the void at the moment, as it were. Um, this was the dining room. Um, and it never, didn't really kind of work, did it? It was always yeah, it was kind of, and it's kind of and... like a, a generous <laughs> corridor, but 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what we are going to propose to do with this kind of area is um, we are going to, where the patio doors are here, um, because it's, I really hate them doors. <laughs> Well, they, they've just broken they need to go. They, the doors. They're, they're totally knackered. All the runners on the bottom have gone. Um, and, and yeah, and it's just a nightmare. Um, so I really want like French patio doors that kind of open. Um, it'll be a really, really nice space, you know, like almost like the day area. Um, nice kids toy box there. And, you know, you've got to have somewhere to put it all. Um, oh, we've got this is like the main beam in the house. Yeah which is sort of half covered, so it's really super thick. And then we've got this inbuilt acro prop here, which was here when we came. Yeah. So we just thought, let's just not... <laughs> let's just leave it. We just don't want to mess about with it. Um, and then over this way. Um, so we are doing an... Let me just get around so we can see. <laughs> We're doing an extension out through here. Um, we have actually got a building that's collapsed that was joining onto the house anyway. Um, and we thought this would be the best, the best way to make use of the space was this was a massive, do you remember? This was a big alcove, wasn't it? Mm. Um, so that's just a short piece of wall that we need to knock through. Yeah. Um, and that will then lead to the entrance to the house. So the boot room. Yeah, boot room. I want a, a nice big entrance. downstairs bathroom as well. So. Yeah. Because we what? don't have a bathroom at the moment. No, it's currently Thomas's bedroom. Yeah. Um, with our composting loo and bath. Um, so yeah, so that'll be a really great space once once that's rebuilt. But that's oh god, like. <laughs> well, it's kind of the next big project, isn't it? But yeah. We've got to sort of get proper planning permission in for that. Yeah. And although the building was there beforehand, so we're hoping it's not going. Yeah, and we've got to get Matt to excavate it and dig for in and all. Yeah. Stuff like that. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, are we going to do this extension first, do you think? Um, yeah, we'll probably extend this out just a little bit, these doors. Oh, so yeah, not, not much. It's a, a bit, in, yeah. it's a nice, like, day area. Um, I don't know about you, but I still like the idea of maybe popping a TV under the stairs. Because the stairs are in the most inconvenient space possible. And in here... Under the stairs is my little office at the moment for all the editing and vlogging. Because the eaves are so sharp on this house, this was the only viable way to have upstairs space mm. and have headroom to walk up the stairs. Yeah. So, oh, um, just a quick um, oh. thing up here. So that's looking to upstairs, sort of the, the hallway. Mezzanine. So that's actually, which you can't see, is two um, tempered reinforced glass panels as sort of a balcony. So this creates a mezzanine. Um, we were so going to have the... you can see sort of the old A-frame of the house. And then there's three bedrooms up there at the moment. So yeah, so as you can see, we have wonderful wires hanging. <laughs> everywhere water and electric um it was really hard so when we first started renovating in here it's because we were pregnant with jack and we were living totally in the little house which is now the kitchen um so it was kind of like quick rush we needed to just get things in didn't we mm. and we didn't really know 100 percent where everything was going um and it's just been kind of evolving from there um, which is is really good. It's become and that's such why a good as well, space. It's looking. It looks quite sparse in here because we haven't really invested in any furniture or anything because we don't know colours <laughs> no. or theme. We're just kind of going for it a little bit by yeah, bit now. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. It's off. it is. This is like a massive, massive open space now. Um, yeah. So then we've got the corridor here um, that leads to. Um, Spaghetti Junction with all of the wires. Well, temporary electric, <laughs> yep, and the stairs that way. Um, and the stairs go up that way, which is really cool. Um, and my utility room, which you're definitely not allowed to see because I'm making my own version of Widow Twanky in there right now. Mm. <laughs> and there is stuff everywhere. Um, and then this was our formal kitchen, and this is going to be our front room, um, which I'm really excited about this space. Obviously, kids' junk and and whatnot. So 
So we've still got the sink and dishwasher in here at the moment, which I'm <laughs> just about to move over to finish the plumbing. Yeah. Um, so that'll go. So, I mean, annoyingly, <laughs> because it was our former kitchen, we didn't put the laminate all the way to the wall to save money. <laughs> no, we didn't. Which is now a massive <coughs> hindrance. And all the plug sockets are... <laughs> At waist height. They're yeah, like, yeah, at waist height anchor. because they were for kitchen. So there's a bit of work to do here. And um, also there's no heating essentially in here, is there? Not as such, no. Um, oh, I'll just show people. So where this silver foil is, if those of you who were following us from the beginning when we first started the little house, so where the chimney is and it had the bread oven before we boxed it all in, there's pretty much that identical here. It's so no. hard, I really don't remember. I know it's there, but yeah. I, I struggle to remember. I think some of it was a bit concreted up, but from what I remember, it was all relatively complete. So we're just toying with the idea of, while we're making this a nice, cosy living room, mm -hmm. do we take this section out, similar to what we've done in the kitchen, expose that chimney, yeah. point it, and maybe put just that tiny little log burner that we took out of the kitchen. Maybe yeah. we put that in here. That log burner was lovely. Um, the only problem is that I have with that is obviously it'll have to be in the middle of the room. Well, the log burner. Mm. And then it just well, kind of takes kind of, all the... It's kind of here, isn't it? So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because... The reason we boarded it up when it was a kitchen is because it was all off-centre and it, yeah. didn't, it just looked very weird, didn't it? Yeah. So maybe, I mean, it's one of them things, once we take the plasterboard off, we might think, oh, why have we done this? What? It's a mess. You know, Just cover it back worth. up. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we'll have a think about that. But No, I would really like that little log burner back in here because it's yeah. it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. our original one. So I guess, I mean, living room-wise, yeah, we've probably got to board the ceiling. Yeah. Um we can't get these beams sandblasted now because it just creates too much mess. Well, also, it? when we first moved in, you had to put the end to beams in because there wasn't there wasn't actually any there was there no this is our crib <laughs> <laughs> i had to say that um yeah this is our house basically can't show you upstairs just yet because the boys are in bed um <laughs> some peace and quiet um i miss them dearly though when they're asleep it's just um yeah it's yeah a it's, blank a, canvas it's a fairly moment, big really house and it's yeah exactly that it's a big it's a blank canvas and yeah, I'm excited to to carry on and get this looking ship shape really. Alright, let's get the sink plumbed in. Yeah! -ha! Which was a mission. It's normally quite an easy job because everything was there, I put all the waste there, but when we bought the sink. Numpty it was over it. Before Christmas we forgot to buy Yeah, it's my fault, wasn't all it? The waste and the plugs that go in it. Um and we thought we could get away with it. We just bought a generic one, but the IKEA stuff is specific, specific to yeah. that sink. So we waited until now because it's a five-hour round trip to IKEA, which is <laughs> we enjoy it, but not that much. No, especially in the restaurant shop. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get this in, but looks like it's in about 50 million pieces. So, yeah, there it is. Let me get that in anyway. While I'm doing this, if you could, because at the same time we were there, we bought the door handles. Handles. So these are the ones. They look almost like they're barely there, isn't it? Yeah. So they're kind of. Well, get some out and see. They're not. We. None of them really caught our eye, did they? So, so expensive as well. Yeah, so these were just kind of the most discreet, minimal ones. So they're very... They're just, just like a little, little... Yeah, put in one of the... So at the moment we've just got this masking tape and a, a bit string. of string. <laughs> string system or... making sure that they are like dead center all the way down because otherwise it's gonna look like a car crash <laughs> or like this yeah I, I 
Yeah, they're nice, you know, they're, yeah, they're just practical. Stick out a tiny bit, they're silver as well, so. Just a little lip, isn't it? Yeah, so I think that'll be nice. I mean, we can actually access their drawers as well, which would be a like good this, thing. You like this to get the cup out for the drink or yeah. like bed <laughs> Right, so I'll leave you, put them on, and I'll get the waist in then. Yeah. Right, so what that's dead center, is it? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> So what happened? Like? Well, it's hard to tell without all the other ones on, isn't it? But yeah. it's annoying because it's just shy of eighty, isn't it? So if not, we're gonna have a wonky kitchen. <laughs> so what happened? What did I just screw into the back? Um, because of the metal piece here, um, you cleverly decided that we needed a pilot hole. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna just... One down, 18 to go. <laughs> and the plug holes. Who does? Um, that's something. <laughs> no idea what. So is this, you know, the like the little waste bit? You know, between the sink, the, the overflow. overflow. Yeah. No. Because this is why we couldn't have a generic one. Yeah, because the, the overflow square, that's the overflow. Oh, all right. 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 Obviously, like all real men, I need to have a go first before I open the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, that class is as defeat. Does it, even, does it even class that you've had a go if you don't do it without? <laughs> it looks very involved this it's huge no, it's weirdly, the sink's like, quite small as well really it's weirdly over complicated for what it is but there we are you can't fluff it up goes in there right from underneath I like how, like all under sink cupboards, this is already packed full of stuff under here. Well, it's all it? like tea towels and cleaning -y bits. <laughs> it's not even plumbed in yet. <laughs> and it's already full of junk. <laughs> Do you need me to hold? It in place. Um, no, it's kind of just this. Screw goes in there. It's a good job you got long arms. It's relatively easy. Minus the instructions. <laughs> so, I'm just going to pour a little bit of water down and just test. Okay. That all works basically. Is it alright? Is it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Thomas has come to inspect. What do you, is it leaking? <laughs> huh? Carrot sticks? Carrot sticks. <laughs> And oh. one job less. Excellent. Cool. Right, Thomas. You're looking all right. Yeah. So I've opted now to do all my pilot holes first because to keep changing this, I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> it kept <laughs> falling out. So you hold that end for me, Thomas. Oh, hang on. Previous. Mm -hmm. Hold that there for me. Jack, can you 
hold that for mummy? Okay. Good boy. Hi, Ta. <laughs> How many people does it take to screw in a handle? So just to let you know, sort of this coming year, uh, the format's going to be a bit different. We're going to carry on with the cooking vlogs, yeah. uh, which I've been doing, which have gone down pretty well. Yeah, they're really good. They help me out as well, to be honest. Yeah. So we're going to do one of them once a week. Um, and that's going to be alongside our normal sort of renovation vlog as well. So it's going to be kind of French themed yeah. cooking. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do them. We're going to carry on with our renovation vlogs. Yeah. Um, so over sort of the end of the year, we've invested in, we've got sort of gimbals and we've Rain got good light. laptop now. Yes. We've got the software to edit properly. So we're going to be putting a little bit more time into the videos. Yeah. Um, and hopefully sort of you can be a bit more involved in the renovation vlogs because people are sick of seeing my face. <laughs> I'll um, do what I can, I'll do what I can. So we'll just sort of change the format up a little bit and just make them a little bit better I think. Yeah. Now, now we've sort of settled in. Dynamics a bit, yeah. Just... So if you watch our videos regularly, and I think on our YouTube statistics now because we've built up quite a bit, mm. um, it says about 10,000 people regularly watch it that aren't subscribed. <laughs> so if you're one of those people that watch it all the time, just hit subscribe. It makes no real difference to you other than you get a notification every time we post something that really helps us. Well, surely if you watch it, it's nice to have a notification when we pop something on. Yeah. So thanks for watching. So look, look for the cooking videos. They're going to be on the same channel um, and we'll be posting them quite regularly. Um, and as well, everyone's been wondering if you won an Oscar for your oh, why have you your acting performance many many years ago? Or... So <laughs> it was about fifteen years ago. I was still at school. Why did you? Put that? <laughs> for my <laughs> sake! So anyway, we'll see you on the next video. So look out for them and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.